Reciprocal by Bissell Brothers. How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. But I mean, up in this piece in the form of Bissell Brothers Reciprocal. Um, I've had this before, I had it a couple times. Never reviewed it, and uh, I don't remember the last time I had it, so I'm kind of going into this sucker fresh. Uh, this comes courtesy of my boy, Max. Sent me off a big box of uh, New England base beers. So there was a little bit of Jersey in there, actually, oddly enough. And um, I dig me Bissell, man. I just don't get a ton of their stuff um, down this way. Uh, as far as this one goes, man, that's some butternut squash right there. And I dig the label. Their labels, I don't know what it is about them. They kind of remind me of, like, uh, last time I referenced, like, a video game. This is more kind of their labels come off, like, kind of, like, 90s, like, skater art or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, uh, and bonus points for this can being dented beyond belief. I'm a big fan of that. And as far as dating goes in this sucker, we have, uh, it's less than a month old. Um, three weeks old to be exact. And I think that's it. It's seven and chain, 7.3%, and it just says ale on it. Uh, I assume this is a New England style hazy based off the look, but you know about assuming, asses you and me. But yeah, pinky finger, off white. I mean, almost khaki colored head. And yeah, tur that is turkey gravy. I say it a lot, but that is legit turkey gravy. I mean, it's OJ. OJ, OJ with a little bit of wet, like, wet grass, like wet weeds, like you mowed like a not that well kept lawn kind of wet greeniness. Yeah, soft OJ, a little bit of soft greeniness. Sure, you want to say there's like wine apple and you want to say there's grapefruit and all that stuff. So just a soft citrus to me, a little bit of green. Dive in. Cheers. You know, it's pretty much exactly the same thing in the taste except kind of make that green a little bit bigger than that citrus component. So it does get a little bit more hashed out on the fruit portion of the show. That grapefruit does come to a head. Um, the, the kind of pithy orange rindiness comes to a head. But that green portion of the show um, is a bit bigger than that. Um, it's not huge. Both of them aren't huge in your face, two by fours in the face of, of taste and flavor, but they're quite nice. Um, yeah, you get a nice impact from it. Um, mouth feels absolutely fantastic. It's not like, um, I, I, he sent me three beers. I'll probably post all of them at the same time. Uh, I'll make sure I post this one last. So if you watch this first, poo on you. But he sent me uh, Substance, he sent me uh, Nothing Gold, and he sent me this. And Substance, by far and away, was my favorite beer of the bunch. Sure, it was the lower ABV one. You know me, that's what I dig. But it was actually, I believe it was a bit more impactful than all other three. And that's kind of where my loyalties lie as far as impact for ABV. This is a quite nice beer. You're talking about 7.3%. I've had ones that have done me a little bit more proper here. But it's a well-made beer. There's nothing negative to it. That one, nothing gold had a little bit of carbonic acid thing going on. There's nothing of that here. Um, and there's nothing as far as negative and off flavor. It's just very singular as far as the way the hops express themselves. It has a sweetness, but nothing to kind of hang your hat on. Not that you want an overt kind of multi sweetness in these hazies anyway, but it's nice. I dig it. It's tasty, but you know, the proverbial gun to my head. If I had to pick one of those three to go home with, I'm substance. It wouldn't even be like an eye blink to that sucker. Mmm. It's good though. It's good. It's not bad beer by any means. Let's put it this way. Sometimes you get a little bit kind of, I don't want to say blinders on, but you get a little bit kind of. I try to go into reviews with the least amount of buys possible. But with Bissell, all the hazies I've had from them have been so good. You kind of set the bar a little bit higher when you have them. You try not to do that, but it's kind of human nature. And this is just a tasty well done stuff and probably one of the better let's cut to that chase is it one of the better better best better let's go better uh ipa eking towards double ipas i've had as late yeah it is it's eking up there it's not mount rushmore status but it's quite good if this is a shelfie this would be home run status no questions asked um but holding up to its other beers i like the other ones a little bit better it is what it is valued availability it's bissell i don't think our prices are typically all that bad a lot of our stuff is brewery only but some of their stuff ekes out in the market and leave you with if you like what well, will you like this if you like new england more Vermont, more specifically Portland, Maine area hazies, this is going to do you proper. I mean, it is almost a Merriam-Webster's dictionary of what hazies uh, are nowadays. And that's not necessarily a slight towards it. It's not generic as far as beer, but it's a good representation of the style. Is it the best of the best? No, but it's not even close to being mediocre. So if you like haze, you'll like this. There you go. Another review in the books. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little hazy right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.